Gabriel, who is the prettiest princess in the world? Is it me or is it Snow White? Where's my mirror? I can't find my mirror because my room is too messy. Where's my beautiful clothes? Where's my magic wand? I can't find anything. Have you guys experienced this? I believe most of you guys do. Before I prepare my speech, I was so impressed of the fact that most of the people's rooms are just not like what they are outside. A college research even has shown that people with the top 10 percentile of the grossest room have gone even 110 days without cleaning. Do you feel disgusted? Let's go further into this topic. Now, here comes the question. Why is cleaning my room so important? And why do I have to spend my time on cleaning my room? The truth is that cleaning your room makes it more convenient. How? Suppose that you don't clean your room for a long time. Then once the messiness of the room passes its threshold, the function of the room greatly decreases, and the room is no longer convenient to use. If a room is like this, this, or this, I believe in that you must have lost something or couldn't find something in your room. That's exactly the point where your life becomes inconvenient, and that's also the point where, where cleaning room comes important. Research has shown that if a room is neat and clean with no unnecessary stuff, it means that you are officially using every single good in the room. Think about this. Every single stuff in the room has a life. You talk to them. How are you doing today? Do you miss me? Are you lonely? Uh, I believe not, cause I have used it for a long, for I have used it every day, and I think me and you are both happy right now. So I'm gonna keep you. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't use you for three years. Um, maybe I I got a friend called Mary, and maybe I can give it to her. She will like you. Ask this question to every single good in the room and hear what they say. If they are not being used, sell them and give them a new home. Using this method to clean your room, you'll find stuff easily and won't lose stuff. You'll know where exactly everything is because you have cleaned them and gave them their space. You find your pen, you find your book and your tools. It's good to know where everything is, right? Not only this, clean room doesn't just make your life convenient, they also change your feeling. Suppose that your room is messy. How would you feel? Agitated? Annoyed? Irritated? That's the point where the atmosphere of a room comes important. Imagine your room is like this. With clear air, near bed, and near desk, you will definitely feel delighted, right? But if you think that isn't an impetus, Try to think that the cleanness of the room is not just important for us, but it, it is also important for our visitors. How we do with our room shows our responsibility, personality, and stability. Everyone wants to be praised, and the cleanness of a room can be one of the important methods. Instead of making your room messy, why don't you make a room clean and well decorated? Not only this, clean room also changes your health. Research has shown that, that a messy room can also be a sign that you have a depression. A messy room usually states in hopelessness, fatigue, and lack of concentration. So if your room is messy right now, you gotta think to take care of your health too. But most importantly, clean room, this theory also implies in your life your effectiveness. People who form a good habit of cleanliness, they usually clear their mind, their time, and their schedule. Have you ever thought that you had lack of efficiency or time management? This can be the resolution. This can be your life reflection. This may sound far-fetched, but think about how our life represents, can be represented in our room. How we deal with our room is same as dealing with issues, right? And dealing with issues is the same as dealing with our life. You want a clean room, not a dirty pigsty. You want to deal with issues quickly and efficiently, not pause bonding and slowly. So
So how we dealing with our room shows our personality. Mirror, mirror, who has the cleanest room in the world? It's us. Yes, Navy Admiral and Sarah explain why they require all soldiers to make their bed to perfection every morning. She said the purpose is to make sure they come home with a clean bed to crush at the end of the day. We can have a clean and neat room, or we can have a dirty and messy room. The choice is ours, and it's based on the decision you make today. What we do changes our life, so which one do you choose? Thank you.